The Fan is the next song. Oh, the last song is 10 minutes. Whoa, you had to get the 1970s in there somehow, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or else there would have been more songs. What's up, everybody? We're back at it again, Side After Dark, continuing our reaction to the Feats Don't Fail Me Now album by Little Feats. This song is called The Fan, and we're going to get right into it. That was the sickest instrumental in this album so far. Hell yeah. Right? It, that it was, was that was dope. It was progressive too. Like it's like you could tell like the seventies, like electronic music yeah, and yeah. stuff is starting to come in and they're like still figuring out exactly what even though it sounds good, they're still figuring out what hits. Like yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. That sounded like I can't put my finger on it, but that whole breakdown sounded like another band. It gave me a vibe of something, maybe kind of like early Pink floyd -y, maybe? It was very Pink Floyd, very Zeppelin, very Jimmy Page yeah, when he yeah. gets wild on, on the guitar. Like, yeah, when yeah. When he gets wilder than usual on the guitar. And but, by wild, you mean sloppy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unhinged. Un 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 like he's just going for it. Yeah, no, that was that was sick. Like, we had to say something about that. Yeah, the the music is usurping the lyrics, which and the lyrics are kind of like, you know, they need to be read in a way. Like, yeah. Well, let's see what other okay. stuff they got for us. Yeah, this is definitely more progressive rock than southern rock, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. So that's cool that they kind of switched it up a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was cool. Shout out to Bill Payne, because he's the one... Him and Lowell D. George, but like Bill Payne is the more progressive one in the band, it looks like. Um, <clears throat> these guys are all into the drugs. Bought a few reds from your neighborhood dealer. What are those pills? I think in the 70s people really loved the pills. It was the uppers, the downers, the yellow jackets, the this, the yeah, that. Yeah. I probably. learned about that on Scarface. <laughs> you didn't know about pills before? <laughs> no, I just didn't know about things like yellow jackets and stuff like that. All I know is uh, Quaaludes. Yeah, yeah, the Quaaludes. That's what they used to love in the 70s, that. Yeah. The alcohol and... Were Quaaludes red, it. people? Let us know if Quaaludes were red. Yeah, yeah, what are the reds? They bought a few reds from the dealer. It's gotta be drugs. Yes. Right? Right. I don't know any red drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know, people. Um... I don't know. I don't really have much else to really add. Yeah, because it's like, I mean, you know, uh, this is a good girl gone bad. Because he's like, when you were a cheerleader and starts the song out with her, mm. you got an infection. Um, seems like there are a lot of good girls gone bad in the 70s. I feel like hanging out with this band might turn a good girl bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they, I feel like they're not the greatest influence on a young person. <laughs> I just want to say that. What makes you think this? Um, you know, just feeling, you know. <laughs> um, so that was the fan. Yeah. Oh, is the girl a fan of the band? Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Let us know, people. Let us know what you think. Ooh about the fan because we're big fans of little feet and we're going to do this whole album we have one song left uh so check out the other videos if you haven't already we are sight after dark coming at you with all the new reactions for all the songs that you might not see other people reacting to because we really like music of all kinds yeah all right so we appreciate you watching uh make sure you like subscribe all that stuff and we'll see you soon